Going to Ludlow next then for the Ludlow Handicap Chase. It's a 0 to 110. And there are only three runners in this. Uh, quite a small turnout. And one of those sometimes is now for Obi Wan at the top. And one of those sometimes might well be now with only being three runners. Black Ascoli for Martin Leedham. Lemons Mill for Craig Beckwith. So there's your three. Let's hope they all get round. Oh, we could be listening to a lot of me waffling. Now the rain's coming down at Ludlow and we're away and racing. And a very short run to the first, which thankfully they all got over okay. And one of those times is now. That one's been on the deck at least once this season. He's coming into the second in the lead. Akaskoli is second. Akaskoli returns from two seasons ago. Was out last season, but come back this season. They get to the next and Lemons Mill was over in third, but he's now in second. So just the four of us watching this then. Obi one serious chill in the lead. With one of those sometimes is now Craig Beckwith with Lemons Mill in second. Me with Black Ascoli in third. And Alex Cherry, the National Hunt handicapper, who presumably has to watch it to be able to handicap it. So it's one of these times sometimes is now in the lead from Lemons Mill and Black Ascoli. As they make their way towards the next. is as you were it's two and a quarter miles I'm not really sure whether there's a two and a quarter oh one of those sometimes he's now nearly went in whether there's a two and a quarter mile hunter chase ladder today as well maybe that could be why there's so few in this um, hunter chases of course have been raised to 110 this year because we were getting some small fields last season and over the ditch we go there and Still getting pretty small fields, but that's because we've only got 20, I think, National Hunt trainers. So maybe as they get over the water, there's a call to suggest that maybe if it's, if it's possible, we can allow the trainers that are currently around to add some extra horses if they're full already. Maybe we uh, numbers up to 35 or something. But, uh, otherwise, we're going to have these three water fields for the rest of the season because there seem to be at least two or three every week but as we found out last week one or two of them were quite excited anyway and this one is pretty exciting so far despite the commentator waffling about anything else because the three of them are pretty closely grouped and Lemons Milk is the new leader one of those sometimes is now his second and Black Ass Goalie is at the back in third as they get over the tenth and Lemons Milk just trying to put a bit of distance between himself and the other two now has opened up by four and gets into the next. Jumps it nicely. All the jumping's been good so far. And Lemons Mill gets over the next one in the lead. Black Ass Goalie's turn to make a mistake there. That's Black Ass Goalie. And one of those sometimes he's now made a mistake then so far. Just Lemons Mill who's putting in a clear round at the moment. Four faults for the other two as they get to this ditch. And this time Lemons Mill jumped it very sparingly. Oh, and one of these sometimes is now he's gone. Went out of shot. So we're down to a match race then there between Craig Beckwith and me. And it's Lemons Mill on the inside who's in the lead. Black Ascoli is second. And they've still got about four fences to take. And Lemons Mill with the white sleeves. Black Ascoli closest to us as they come down to the fourth last. Lemons Mill just being pushed along to keep up in the lead. Black Ascoli just being pushed along to keep in pace as they get over that next one. Lemons Mill a slower jump. Black Ascoli though only within a neck as they get over the second last. They jump that one the same and it's going to be a real battle now up towards the final final furlong or so they've still got the second last that's the final ditch and black ascoli jumps into the lead lemons mill is suddenly two or three lengths down in second and black ascoli over the last but oh, got over it okay look like he got in too close but racing up towards the line it's going to be black ascoli i think that's going to take it lemons mill is trying to close but black ascoli's got nothing down and takes it from lemons mill in second and one of those sometimes is now fell went out of shot so how about that then? You get a three runner race. <laughs> he still managed to not see the faller because he got so far behind. So, anyway, it's Black Ascari that takes it. Lemons Mill second, and they were the only finishers. Black Ascari then wins it for Martin Leadham. Lemons Mill second for Craig Beckwith, and we'll move on to the next.